Hi all, and Nick Morell here from Nick Morell Abstracts, and welcome back. Um, Sunday afternoon, I guess you can hear it out here, we've got a real storm going on. I've uh, done a couple of um, gold um, swipe, reflect, reflection swipes this afternoon, and I've just got so much paint left over. I've got a canvas left over, which is an 18 by 14. And I'm just going to try and use up some of my paints I've got mixed up. I've got a bit of white left, quite a lot of white left. That's obviously the paint, obviously the white we'll be using tonight is the 41, high velocity again. Pretty much seen this one. I use this one in all my backgrounds, whites, um, Pebo. 41, high velocity, can't go wrong. As usual, everything is mixed up 50-50 with liquid pour medium. Again, can't go wrong with that, 50-50. And the paint I've got left over, basically, I've got some gold 352, which is the iridescent gold Pebo, high velocity, really nice gold. We've got some of the 351 silver, metallic, um, left over. We've got some Mars Black in that, and we've got some Dalo Rowney Pearl White left. Again, so I'm just going to play with these. I'm going to have a white background. Just some paints I've got left over. It's always a good idea to use up and just try and create something interesting. I'm just going to go with a bit of a reflection. I might go with an off-center one this time and just swipe heavier. Try and get some darker colors at the top, lighter towards the bottom, but we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a white background. So hopefully we've got enough white here. So we'll just spread this round first. Again, this is quite boring, this bit. If you want to fast forward, please do. Let's say, just get it all over. Should be plenty of white there. So I didn't want to waste any more paint. So I've done a couple this afternoon. Um, one's gone off to Catherine Osmore, and you'll be seeing that um, real soon. We're doing something together, so watch out for that. And so as we said earlier, this is my Halfords. A lump in there, get rid of that. And so this just spreads over really, really quickly. And then we're going to tilt. So you get it sort of semi even, spread out. And then we're going to tilt. So that's how quick it is with these. And so that's just a squidgy from Halfords. I've just half that down. So it comes in two pieces. So that's the second piece. It's that big. It's for getting excess water off a car. I've just cut it down um, for this size canvas. I have got a larger one as well. The larger one is that sort of size, and I use that for my larger canvases, just to spread out the background. Just makes it really, really quick. So this is just a leftover, a leftover's quick reflection pour we're gonna do. See what happens. But sometimes the quick ones and leftovers, so don't waste any paint. So we're just going to run some of that off. Try to get a nice even. So 
So it's quite runny, this mix. It was a white that I was using for my swiping, which is a bit thinner. So we'll see how it goes in this background. So we would normally have it a little bit thicker than this on the background. But we'll see, it should create some, some cell action, I guess, being thin. off there and that's about perfect just let that settle for a second so with the storm today it's been pretty windy here I'm in Suffolk near Ipswich but I guess it's been the same where all you guys are. Right, get that sitting nice. You can see that. I'll just torch that slightly. There's a few bubbles in there. Just a light torch to get rid of the bubbles. Now I've got my colours mixed up in pots. And so we'll just run this off first. So I might go for a three quarter, something a bit different. So about here. Just run it off. Get your first line down to give you a guide. Say some silver. Some gold. Some pearl white. Nice and pearl white, just gives a little bit of contrast. More of a buff colour. A bit more go, a bit more black into that. I'm going to try and grab that mostly going upwards. A bit of black. No underneath again. We'll go with a bit of silver. Some gold. Sorry about the wind noise. Bit of pearl white. There's a bit more gold in there on the top. Sunk a bit. Just a bit more silver. And so we can add. So I'm going to swipe. Probably swipe up first. And we'll use the wet. Have you seen before? I've just got some little ones, quite a small canvas. So I've cut them down and we're just going to wet the edge and pull through. So just wet, wet the bottom edge and that way it will suck the paint. So just let it suck the paint and try and pull up nice and slowly and as straight as you can. That's nice. And so don't worry, you've got lots of black and the gold will come through. And we'll go again on the top. So you just try and grab that. And as I come to the edge, I slightly pull up. 
Um, that way you get your ghosting. We'll go again. So it's what's wet at the bottom edge. So just pick some of that black up, let it suck and pull. Now I'm coming up. So leftover ones can make a simple, simple effect. I'm just going to cut one of these down. Just try and make a thinner one. I'm just cutting one of these down. Just customise this as much as you want. I've just got to get that bottom edge there. I don't want to put a whole one on because I'm going to go into that. So I'm just going to try and pick that little bit up there with a the black. And again, just run it through. And I'm pulling up, I'm pulling up to get that effect. That's good. As you can see, it's selling up with the golds coming through, golds and silvers. Um, it's lacing up, if you can see that. And now we're just going to come down to the bottom. I'm going to turn that round. I just find it easier to swipe up and then swipe down. But just do whatever you're comfortable with. See some great effects coming in there. So I've wet my tissue. I'm just going to try and pick it up there. And that's perfect. Might just go into that edge there with a the little one. Just miss that edge. Just kind of cut one down again. I'm just going to try and pick that little bit up there. Feather that in, and I'm coming out. That's perfect. Into your next one. Just try and drop it in there. That's cool. So you create some really nice effects, especially with the gold. Right in. And I'm pulling up. And the last one. I've got just about the right size for these. So just wet your bottom edge, and that way you're just grabbing the paint. Pulling up. You can see that, just say that's really a, an effective, just a leftovers reflection swipe. And the golds are going to keep coming in here. So you've got your gold, your pearl white, and your silvers coming through to the white. A really nice effect with the heavy dark through the center. But say it's an off-center one. So you can see that, I'll just lift it up slightly for you. And the gold lacing, selling up. It's really stunning. And if you want anything a bit darker, like this area is quite light here, you can always pull through again. Just try and grab that. If you want a bit, a bit of different effect there. That's 
Let's even it up a bit more with the same tones. And that's all done with, say, kitchen roll and just wetting the bottom edge. So you can go in with a second swipe if you'd like. And these are the tools. You'll see these used on my next, on the one um, that me and Kathleen are doing. I do a two swipe method um, with a tissue like that. I go in with some more colors and we swipe effects with these to create some stunning effects. But that's your leftovers. So a quick swipe, reflection swipe, and say less is more sometimes. So it's all gonna move, as you can see, but they're lacing with the gold, the gold laces and the white, the white and the gold. Always get guaranteed lacing with that. And a white background. And so it's literally paint that we weren't gonna use. I'll give you a quick look at that. So I don't know if you can see that, the lacing through and the silvers, and this is just gonna get better and better. But that's a quick, quick. So off, off center, reflection swipe. With your golds, your 352 Pivo. Your silver 352. Silver metallic. Your Darryl O'Rowney uh, Pearl White, which is really cool. And your Mars Black, through the center. So it just creates a simple, stunning, and easy to try for a beginner. So just get your consistency, your paints right. It's amazing the stunning effect you can make by just have a simple, the simple colors. It was just four colors with a white background. Um, with, your, with your kitchen roll, pull through, just wet on the bottom and a light, say so pull. And as you're coming through, as you're coming through with the tissue, your kitchen roll, you're pulling and you slightly lift towards the edges. And that's the way you get this ghosting. So heavier getting lighter effect. It's very, very simple, but very effective. So you'll see um, Kathleen Osmore and Courtney Holschner doing lots of these. Amazing work. So give that a go. So it's a simple 18 by 14. Just a canvas I'd left over um, from the work I'd done this afternoon. And the, the paints, I just wanted to use them up. Don't want to waste them. Otherwise they sit in my um, workshop. It's expensive enough hobby as it is. But there you go. So, if you haven't done, please like and subscribe to my channel. That's Nick Moreau Abstracts on YouTube. Hit the notification bell, and when a new, a, new, a new video comes up, you'll be the first to see it. Any questions you'd like to ask, obviously just leave me a message or a comment, and I'm happy to help and answer any questions. So okay, until next time, say give that one a try. It's a real simple one, but really effective, as you can see. The stunning effects you can get. So give that a bash. And I'd love to see your pictures. If you could tag me in any pictures, that would be fantastic. Okay, until next time, we'll see you later.